All right, today we're here for our virtual workout. If you had a chance, don't forget we have classes online and we're also doing our outdoor karate classes. You can go to the www.firstchoicemartialart.com website, book an outdoor class and certainly join us with the live classes. For today's workout, you're gonna need a pillow or a pad, something of that nature. What you're going to do is we're gonna start by placing the pad like this. We're gonna start with something called the circle run. So we're gonna stand square like this. I'm gonna run forward like this. I'm gonna circle around the pad as fast as I can. Trying to keep my eyes up and body square to the camera. You guys will pause the video, do this drill for one minute. This is a workout for dragons, kids, and adults. Everybody's doing one minute to start today. Pause the video and we'll see you back. Okay, now that you're back, you're gonna drop down quickly. You're gonna take that pad here, show you from the side. I'm gonna roll back, come up, try to bring that pad up with a pillow as high as I can, working good form with my sit ups, keeping my foot down. You guys will be doing, in kids class today, 20. Little dragons, you'll be doing 15. Adults and teens, you guys will be doing a set of 25 sit-ups. You can pause the video and get started. Okay, round two. We're doing the circle run again. We're running the other way this time. We're keeping our body nice and square. Nice, fast, slow work, which is great for sparring. You're gonna move as quick as you can. No matter which class you're in today, you're doing it for another full minute. You guys can pause the video and we'll see you back for another round of sit-ups. Okay, back on the floor, guys. So this time, we're gonna cross our arms like this. We don't need the pad. We're gonna try to pinch our knees together. This makes our sit-ups a lot harder. We're gonna roll back, squeeze it up, touch our elbows to our knees. We're doing good form, good technique. Dragons, you guys will be doing 15 of those today. All my kids, you guys are going up to 20. And all the adults and teens, you guys will be doing another set of 25. You can pause the video and we'll see you right back. Okay, moving on. Keep that pillow or pad on the floor there. We're doing box jumps today. So I'm gonna take a, my feet here, I'm gonna get a two foot takeoff. I'm jumping over the pad like this. I'm jumping back. I'm going as fast as I can. This will be another full minute round. You guys can pause the video and then we'll see you back for another round of setups. Okay, now that you guys are back, back to the floor. Okay, same as the first one here. Pad is here, we're coming down. Up with the pad, back down. Up with the pad, trying to really focus on the core muscles. Little dragons, you guys have been doing 15 of those today. Teens and, or sorry, kids, you guys have been doing 20. And all my teens and adults, you guys have been 25. You guys can pause the video and then we'll see you back for our last warm up drill. Okay, let's finish it off here. So, all we're gonna do here this time is we're gonna stand over the pad here. We're gonna reach down, bring it up, put it back on the floor, bring it back up. So, I'm reaching down, I'm bending not from the back like this. I'm doing good squats, so I'm keeping my back nice and straight there, like I'm sitting in a chair. Grab the pad, bring it up. I'll squat back down, place it on the ground, and bring it back up. This will be another time drill for a full minute. You can pause the video, and then we'll see you back for our last round of sit-ups. Now that you're finished those squats, once you drop back down to the floor, this is the same as round two. Pinch those knees together, elbows here. We're rolling back, coming up, touching our elbows to our knees. Okay, using good form, good technique, right? Trying not to rock on the sit-ups. Little Dragons, you guys will be doing another set of 15. Kids, you guys will be going up to 20. And all of our teens and adults will be doing 25. And then after that, you guys can grab yourself a quick drink. Pause the video and we'll see you back. All right, now that you've done your warm up and you guys have also done your water break, I want you guys to split your legs out about halfway like this. All right, we're pulling down to one side today. Today, I want you to focus on a little bit more on the time side here. So you're pulling down, stretching your hamstrings out. You guys are doing a full 30 seconds. Okay, once you guys hit that right leg, you'll then pivot it over, go to the left side, do the same thing again for another 30 seconds. Stretch number three, going down the middle, crossing our arms, getting our palms down, our head down, holding that position. Two more, we're gonna place our hand on the floor like this today. We're gonna to reach up. I want you guys to try to twist your chest like that, stretching it over, and you'll hold that position for 30 seconds. Once you're done, we'll do the exact same thing for another 30 seconds. Once right, so you've done those five stretches, what you're gonna do with your legs is just go a little bit wider, right? Without falling all the way down, you're gonna repeat those five stretches, again, for 30 seconds per side, and then if you feel up to it, do a third uh, stretch as well, where you go just a little bit wider and try it again. Be careful, the goal here is to get a nice stretch and not to pull muscle. You guys can pause the video, work through your stretches, and then we'll see you back with our technique of the day. Okay, hopefully you had a great uh, stretch and a great workout so far. 
Today we're going to be working on uh, Shudo's basic uh, walk and a punch as well. And we'll be putting together a nice little combination. And you guys will be doing these uh, over and over again, repeating them. You will be working on both sides today. So I'm going to explain the drill on one side, and then it will be your job to kind of practice both sides. So you'll actually have to work through it at a slow speed at first, understand what you're doing, and then once you've got it, then drill it, right? Because if you're just practicing kind of slowly the whole time, yeah, that's great, but you're not getting quite the workout, and you're not really focusing on the power element. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start uh, with your body sideways in a downward block, right? You're going to have your right arm down like this, left hand in chamber. You're going to take your right foot, you're going to step forward. We're going to do a shooto today with a flat foot. So what that means is we're not going to step on the ball of the foot and pivot it. We're going to step and have that foot pivoted already. So there's advantages and disadvantages to this. Uh, without being able to turn the hip, you might lose a little bit of power on a shooto. But because you're using the step, you're going to regain some of that power with that momentum of stepping forward. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start that downward block. I'm going to take my right arm, I'm going to bring it back, my hand's going to come out of chamber. I'm going to extend it. I'm going to step forward with my right leg, and as I do that, I'm going to do that right shooto, and I'm going to end up getting in a cat stance. I'll then close my hands, pull the arm out again, and bring it back. So what I'm really trying to accomplish today is to teach you guys how to take your hand out of chamber and use it from time to time. You don't always have to keep your hand in chamber. You can use that hand to gain power. So again, I start here like this. I'm going to open both hands, pull this hand back, step forward and do the shooto. I'll close both hands, step back and block. So take a look here. So one, two, on that side. Okay, for today's drill, little dragons, you're going to be doing 15 on that side, as well as practicing the drill on the other side where you have to step forward, do the shooto, practice the block. So you'll have to practice both sides, understand what you're doing, do it strong. Teens, or sorry, kids, you guys will be going up to 20 on both sides, and all of my teens and adults, 25. You can always do more. Pause the video, understand what you're doing. Once you've got it, drill it off nice and strong, and then we'll see you back with another little combination that we add to that. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. We go back to the same position. I'm going to step forward with my right again, do that shooto, but this time I'm going to pivot to a walking stance and do a basic punch. I will then pull my hand back and do another downward block. From there, I open my hands again, step forward, shooto, I will pivot to that basic punch, and then come back to my block. The combination sort of looks like this. Alright, again, this is something that you will be doing on both sides, so you will have to spend a little bit of time practicing, understanding what you're doing. Dragons and kids and adults, once you know that, dragons are doing 15, kids you guys are going up to 20, adults 25 on both sides. Pause the video, get it down, drill it, and then we'll see you back for our last one. Alright, our last combination from that downward block position, I'm going to step forward. I do my downward block. For, uh, sorry, I'm going to start actually from the downward block position. I'm going to step forward, do the shooto actually. Then from there, I'm going to pivot like I did before, do the basic punch. And then I'm going to take this punch here and throw it over to this corner, look back to center, and then go back to the downward block. So again, just to be clear here, the first move is actually a shooto. We add the basic punch. We pivot to a basic punch and then we come back. Just like a kata, we're gonna turn our head in the directions that we're throwing the techniques. Okay, a little stronger. Once you get that down, you'll be doing the same thing on the other side. Here, here, and here. So we'll take a little bit of time on practicing. Once you're clear on it, you're doing both sides, dragons, 15. Kids, you guys are going to 20. I have my teens and adults go to 25. Of course, if it's a little bit too easy for you guys, you can add in more reps, and then we'll call it a workout. You can pause the video, and we'll see you back. All right, great workout, everybody, today. Now, that was fantastic. So if you're still doing the video workouts, again, do as many as you can. There's lots of videos on the website. I'm still doing my best to try to give you guys fresh curriculum, fresh new material to practice. 
Um, also, if you're doing the live classes, we'll see you on the Tuesday, Thursdays, or Saturdays. And uh, we've been scheduling pretty heavily based on the forecast, um, the outdoor classes. So you just go to the website, click the outdoor class, book a time because we're only allowed nine people at this point in time right now. Hopefully that will uh, change you know, sooner, sooner than later. And uh, when it's safe, we'll come back inside, obviously. So, and if you are doing those outdoor classes, you know, baseball hat, sunglasses, sunscreen, t-shirt, I want you guys to be very comfortable doing the workouts. All right, it was a pleasure teaching you guys today, and we'll see you back in class shortly.